Creative had started back in 2013, but I think it really started back in 2008 when I came home from Iraq. I was actually referred by a friend. Um, he just saw that I was very artistic and stuff like that. You know, when I got injured and stuff, I was on like a, you know, went really depressed for a while and stuff there. And a friend just saw that I was, uh, that I was in like a depressed state. And he said, have you heard about Creative Vets? They have an art program. The veterans come, they tell their story to the songwriters. The songwriters then write their song and write a story for them to bring to the people that, that they maybe couldn't share that story with. I'm six foot ten, 300 pounds, so my dad's always called me the oak. And uh, that's kind of like where the song's going is like, you know, I, I felt like an oak in Iraq and Afghanistan and everything, but when I got injured and into a chair, it's like, I felt like, you know, my tree had fallen. I served my country, I served my fellow man. I'm just letting people know that even though I'm in a chair and, and uh, you know, not walking around tall and chest all out and everything, um, I could still serve a purpose. I've always been very thankful of the, mil of the military and what they do, um, but it has put a lot of things in perspective and it has allowed me to realize that their job is so much harder than you actually think it is. So the songwriting program has been super successful and it's been one of the, the most sought after programs because veterans know that their flights are paid for, their food's paid for, their hotel's paid for, and they get to just spend time with another combat veteran and they're they're writing a song. This is all about teaching them how to remap that the negative uh, impact, like the negative thought into a positive. So totally transferring that into something good. So that's what happens through the songwriting program. It is so awesome what Richard has done and what he's created. Um, with creative vets to like change people's lives. This is something that's really brought me out of my shell and I hope the same for everyone else. The other program is our art program and we offer that now at the University of Southern California and the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. And we enroll veterans, we pay for their flights, their food, their housing to the school, and then we also pay for their tuition. So we teach them how to do art, like as a curriculum. You have the music, you have uh, ceramics, you have graphic design. There's so many forms of art out there that a lot of these disabled veterans can connect to that. Without this experience for a lot of vets, they would be in a really lonely place, you know, and, and he's bringing them to Nashville and giving them this experience that is just almost like eye-opening. We had a, a, a girl on Facebook who wrote back to us saying, you might not remember me, which we remember everybody, and she said, but the day that you called me and told me that I was accepted to the songwriting program, uh, I get emotional. Uh, I was writing my suicide letter. It's a huge need and it's a way to get veterans who don't want help. The underlying message of the whole thing is it's good to get it out. It's good to talk about it because if you bottle it up, that's when it starts to eat at you. It starts to become like a virus and it just, it, it, it ruins people's lives. We have so many partners who are ready, like other schools who want our programs and we have so many veterans on the waiting list and now we have some staff that can help. Problem is just the funding. That's like our major issue right now. And to any veteran out there, just know that your story is important and it's not only going to save you, it's going to save other veterans because they're going to hear it and know they're not alone out there.